Hi everyone, it's Laurel Beard here and I'm super excited with today's video because it's my first blog post as a guest designer over at the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft blog. I'm a guest designer for the next several months and this is the card we're going to be making for today. So to start with, I've grabbed a funny stamp set by Riley & Company. I love coffee and I love funny, so this stamp set was perfect. We'll get to that in a minute. And I've got some gesso here. This is Design Memory Craft, uh, Faber-Castell gesso. And I use this anytime I'm going to use gelatos because it creates a very smooth surface for applying the gelatos. I think of gesso like a primer. You know how when you're painting furniture or the walls, you usually prime it? First, that's what I do uh, here with the gesso. It just really helps smoothing uh, and blending real easy. So this is my little fun stamp set, and I've grabbed two different color uh, big brush pens here. The colors, they're called Stampers Big Brush Pens, and the colors I'm using are black and nougat. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. N-O-U-G-A-T and black. Those are the two colors I'm going to be using here. And I love these Stampers Big Brush Pens. They are fantastic. They are India ink, so they're permanent, light fast, acid free, and they don't stink. You know, some markers like Sharpies and whatnot stink. These don't stink at all. So they're super permanent. So once these dry, you can go ahead and layer other products over uh, the inks. I love this about the mix and match line by Design Memory Crafts. Paper Castell, I love that they thought to mix and match your products. You just get more bang for your buck being able to use different products on the same project. So this is that color Nougat. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm probably wrong. And I'm going in with the side of my marker here, and I am just making sure that I'm coloring over that entire sentiment. That whole sentiment has this brown color over the top of it. And again, I'm using the side of my marker. I don't want to damage my tip here. This is the black, so I'm just going in with the side, and I'm just kind of doing little swipes here and there to create this super fun, unique sentiment color. You'll see in just a second. So I'm going to put my big head in the way here. Sorry. Okay, it's out of the way. I went and did a huff on it. I don't think you have to do that, but it's just, you know, it's just I do it. I huff all over my stamps. And I stamped it upside down. I could edit it this out, but I didn't because I do this all the time. Thank God this was a card panel that I'm working off of and not the card base. So I can just slip that the other way. See? Ta-da! Uh, but I do that all the time. But anyway, look at that sentiment. Look at the two colors. Look at that brown and that black. Isn't that pretty? I just think that is so stinking pretty. So I grabbed some colors of the gelatos that I thought would be really pretty. Now you could have just left this card as is because that sentiment is really quite stunning and it really could work for a card all on its own. But I'm going in with some gelatos here. I've got gold champagne. <laughs> Let me try that again. Gold champagne. I can't say that word. Perhaps because I don't like champagne. But I like this gelato. So I've got gold champagne. I've got from the steampunk pack, which is a four pack, I'm using iced chai, cinnamon, and iced coffee. All of these supplies will be listed below on the YouTube description and on the blog post. So yeah, that doesn't look pretty. I know, I know, I know. Now gelatos, I just love these little guys. They're so much fun. They're like my creamy little chapsticks. They blend, they react to moisture. So you can blend with your finger. You can blend the, with your finger, they're reacting to the moistures, the oils in your finger. You can blend with the paintbrush and water like I'm doing. You can grab a damp wet wipe or a, de a damp paper towel and blend it that way. Uh, this doesn't look pretty. I admit this, this, you guys might be questioning what in the world I'm doing and why did I mess up that pretty sentiment. But I promise you when it's done, it's going to look really awesome. At least I think it is. <laughs> so I'm going in and just adding this color. There is really absolutely no rhyme or reason as to where I'm laying down the color. I'm just going with wherever my little creamy gelato takes me. So I'm going to go in and, and blend out some more of that color. I'm just going to keep messing around with it until I get the look that I want. To soften the color, you can just go in and add a little bit more water. If you don't want the color soft, you just want to add more gelato. So really, there's no right or wrong. You're just going to play around until you get the look that you want. So now I'm pretty satisfied with the layers of the color that we laid down with the gelatos. So I'm just going over that one more time with a dry cloth just to remove any excess puddles of water or anything that I didn't want there. And I'm ready to add some texture to this card. So this is a stencil by the Crafters Workshop, and I am grabbing my Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft whipped spackle. This stuff is 
awesome and there's so much you can do with it and I have even used it to spackle a little hole in my wall. I really have. But for this, I'm going to use it uh, to create some fun texture to my card. So I'm just applying this whip spackle through my stencil. This stuff goes a long way. You can see I'm not even dipping into my container anymore. I'm using what I scooped out on my palette knife here. This is one of their pal palette knives that you can get from their tool set. In case you're wondering. So I'm just applying this down. I love this whip spackle. It's calorie free. It's my favorite. It's like frosting. So fun. I did get a little bit where I didn't want it and you can see I'm just kind of removing it with the edge of my palette knife and then I'm going to set this aside to dry. It doesn't take too long to dry. I think maybe I let it dry 20 minutes or so. I do want to encourage you to go ahead and clean off your stencil and your tools right away. You don't want to let it dry and then clean it off because it's a booger to get off once it's dry. Just run that under some warm water and you're good to go. So now it's time to just add some I'm sorry, I did a little something crazy with my light there. Ooh, a little disco. Uh, so now I wanted to add some more some water flicking. So I'm taking my gelato. I'm scribbling it onto an acrylic block. I'm going to squirt my acrylic block with water to create a little puddle. I'm going to grab a paintbrush, mix that all together, and then I saw my friend Julie do this, and I thought this was brilliant. I'm just going to flick my water on. Doing it this way just really gives me more control over where I want my flick, water flicks to go. <laughs> so I just love it. Now I didn't want any on my sentiment there so I'm just going to take a uh, dry cloth there and dab it away because remember gelatos are not permanent until they dry. Once they are dried they are completely permanent. I decided I needed a little bit more up at the top hand corner. It was a little bottom heavy with my water flicking. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just scribble it onto a block, add some water and just flick, flick, flick. Isn't that fun? Flick, flick, flick. It's fun to say too. Dabbing it off where my sentiment is. And that's it. I'm just going to set that aside, let it dry. I'm going to adhere it to a card base, and that's the card. So much fun. I love all the texture of this card. I love that this line is a mix and match line. We mixed gelatos, we mixed the Stampers Big Brush pens, and we mixed the Whip Spackle all together to create this fun, textury coffee card. And I'm drinking some coffee right now, too, just in case you were wondering. So I had so much fun creating this card and I can't wait to use some more of their products and create more projects. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time and hope you have a wonderful day.